Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Venice. So, let's continue where we left off and keep killing Poland. Because that's what it is. They aren't willing to peace out, so we will continue the war! Whatever flaws their boat. I'm actually okay with this. More experience for our cannons. And we do have camel archers now, so that's definitely going to help a lot. Might be a little bit tricky actually using them on this terrain, but it's fine. At least it should be fine, maybe not like this. Need to back up a little bit here. And we got another Shukono incoming. And I should probably upgrade the crossbowman. Thing is, the upgraded unit will only have one tile range, that's the skirmisher from Enlightenment era. So I would prefer to get plus one range before I take that upgrade. That would be nice, yes. So there's no way I can kill both of these guys. That's just not going to happen. I could do some more damage to that musketeer. Okay, fine. And that's pretty much it. Either they're not move with the cannon. That would be silly. We'll just let them move towards us. Because the musketeer certainly can. Yep, there we go. We are fine. Just need to swap units around a bit. Alright, we should be able to kill all three, I think. I could also... Yeah, I could kill four units. I would end my move in city bombardment range. But that might still be fine. There, one down. I kind of want to kill this guy. Yeah, let's just kill that guy. We'll take some damage from city bombardment, but that's okay. I don't mind. Now, yeah, we have to back up here. First, let's actually kill these guys. We can do something like this. And the crossbowman, because he needs experience. And can we kill that guy? Maybe. I think so. I'm not sure. Might not be able to do it. Well, I could attack him with the lancer. Yeah, let's do something like this, because I don't want the lancer to be in CD bombardment range. He's down. And what's that? Why is there no icon? Right, that's just a hussar. That's fine. We'll kill him. Bye. So, yep, we got more units incoming. I still want to take the city, but it's going to be tough. In fact, it's probably not going to happen until a little bit later. Oh yeah, also, I did queue up a caravel in Venice, because I want to explore this area a little bit. Find some more American cities, find some city-states. So, we'll do exactly that. We got exploration. Actually, that means we can get a galleon instead. Well, caravel will be faster. And we got a promotion, nice. That's going to be... I could take plus one range. That's not such a bad idea, honestly. I think I'll take plus one range. We can get frigates soon. And having a frigate with plus one range would be very, very useful. Let's go for plus one range. Alright, and you obviously need to back up. Now, we just need to get that frigate. I can still attack like this. Do some damage. Obviously, doing damage with one ship will not be enough to actually take the city. But that's okay, we'll get some experience. Right, I'm just going to stay here. How many more turns do we have on mercenaries? Six turns on these guys. I think I'm going to extend this still. It makes sense. So, what about the city? Do we want to push it? I could do some pretty good damage with camel archers. Well, there's still a guy inside, damn it. Yeah, with the amount of mercenaries Poland is hiring, this might not actually happen. And taking their capital will be even harder. You know, one of the side effects of this mod is that it makes it very, very hard to take capital cities. Because you can just buy mercenaries around your capital city and then you can move and attack with them on the same turn you buy them on. So, yeah. That's actually the part I kind of don't like. The fact you can buy a unit and then move and attack with it on the same exact turn without having to wait one turn. It would be better if you had to wait one turn. But it is what it is. 
Anyway, I'm not going to charge into that guy. Definitely not. But I do want to do some damage to the city. Should have used the other Karak. I should probably upgrade them. Alright, let's get a Galleon. And we'll just let that guy move towards us. Maybe back up slightly. But basically, he needs to move towards us. Trading post. And we got one more Chukono. How's Venice doing? One turn. I queued up a few cargo ships because we kind of need them. I want to finish this war soon because I want to grab a few city-states from Poland. But they are not willing to negotiate at all. So yeah, it might take a while. Right, there's our caravel. Let's go explore a bit. And I got a few cargo ships queued up after the city walls. I'm getting the city walls just in case. Alright, let's kill that dude. Should be doable. Yeah, more units incoming. These are mercenaries right here. In fact, this is a mercenary only unit. But we can do some good damage here. Yeah, I don't have to be in city bombardment range anymore. So that's nice. Hmm, what do I want to attack here? Hmm, tough choice. Either they just kill these guys. So, well, the side effect is that I don't think we can get a kill here anymore. Maybe we can. I think we can, actually. Can we? No, I would have to attack with the Lancer, which I don't necessarily want to do. Wait, I can still attack with Camelodger. But that's not enough damage. Pretty annoying. And yeah, we got yet another unit incoming. Would be nice to get rid of this marsh. But it's a little bit risky removing that right now with a worker. Anyway, we'll just keep defending. Next. I need more experience on the cannons. But that's going to be tough. More incoming. Yep, because why not? More mercenaries. Our black bands are certainly mercenaries. We got a replacement spy. I could still spy on Moson Kani if I want to. I kind of need to steal a few techs. So I think I'll do it. Alright, well, this is going to be slightly problematic. Yeah, I don't know about this. At least we can do some damage with the cannon. So there's that. Let's just do as much damage as possible. There. That will do. I could actually kill that guy and then probably lose my Karak. So, not such a brilliant idea. Let's back up slightly. And now... Yeah, kill that guy. And that's all I can really do? Yeah, pretty much. That's all we can really do. Let's remove some of this marsh at least. How's our mercenary timer? Yep, extend the contract. And I'll probably extend the camel shirts as well. It's a little bit more expensive, but I'm still going to do it. There's the research agreement. So that means we can build an academy now, and we definitely should in Venice. Also, I think I'm going to buy a few more cargo ships. What are the best trade routes right now? That we're not already working. And that don't use caravans, although I suppose trade routes with caravans are fine. Alright, let's get a caravan here. That's a pretty good one. What else? Dublin to Carthage? Yeah, that's fine. Dublin to Carthage is more than okay. So we'll get a caravan here. And that's enough for now. I don't want to spend all of my gold. You guys will just wait and let's go explore to the southeast. We actually got a great admiral. Hey, that's actually kind of useful. And that's that. I want to remove more marsh though. Still, it's a little bit risky to do it like this. Also, we need new research elements. We do, but Carthage doesn't have enough gold at the moment. I could just give them some gold. 
She just needs 54 gold. That's okay. There, enjoy. Yeah. And research argument. Nice. We got one more in two turns. That will give us economics. And then we'll go for scientific theory. I'm prioritizing science because our science will always be suboptimal as Venice. Because I can't manage any of my cities other than my capital. So we have to focus on science even more. Science is actually a major problem for Venice because of it. You can't optimize your cities. Right, remove this marsh. That will make things a little bit faster. And get the gold. Thanks for the gold. And does that. Let them move towards us. We got a new great general. And the trade routes. Highest gold is most uncanny. You can just stay in Kaisel for now, I guess. Or I can send him north. I suppose that works. And another caravan. Carthage is fine. Still got the crossbowmen, but no targets. I do want navigation, but that will have to wait a little bit longer. Any targets here? No. Alright, that's fine. Highest gold. Let's trade with Carthage. Alright, next. Is Poland going to negotiate now? Probably not. Nope. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't want Carthage to declare war on Poland, but they weren't willing to do it a few turns ago. Let's try again. Maybe they changed their mind. No, I don't think they changed their mind. They did not. Okay, we can't do it. Doesn't matter. Another guy incoming. But no icon again. Oh, he will die. Well, I did move my Chukono. But it's fine. I just don't want him to pillage my resources. I don't care if he pillages Aaron. Can we start attacking the city yet? It would be really nice. But it's not happening. Come on, you're not dead yet. Really? I can kill him though. There, that's better. So, come on, can we attack this stupid city already? That would be great. Can we get Pocatello to declare war on Poland? Probably not, but we can try. No, we can't do it. Really annoying. They are already at war with the Mongols, so... I might have to just attack and accept the fact I lost a few units. I mean, these guys are mercenaries anyway. They don't get experience. I think we should just attack regardless. I could build an aggressive citadel. I could also try to build a road into this hill. That would help a lot. But I would have to protect my workers standing on that tile. And, you know, actually building the road. I don't want to fight here, I just want to find more cities. Right. Well, I don't want to stay in sea bombardment range. For obvious reasons. And now we have to connect Florence again. And build more improvements. So, let's attack the city. I think we should. I mean, there are more units inside, but... I can't help it. There will always be some units inside. If I want to take the city, I need to just ignore that fact. Otherwise, we will simply not take it. It's really as simple as that. I will almost definitely lose units while doing this. But we'll use the camel archers for now. These guys can do some damage without a big risk. Okay, hold on. Well, I can do something like this. That was pretty decent damage. Considering we didn't even use that many units. Trading post? I don't really want a trading post. I still want to remove the marsh. We can at least start removing it. That works for me. Alright, well, let's not do anything crazy just yet. Just make sure everyone has the bonus from the general. 
Yeah, we'll just wait here for a turn or two. Yep. And there's the second research element. We'll get a new one right away. Done. Six turns to get scientific theory. We got 45 tags. We are doing okay. We just need to steal a few tags. That's what it is. Come on, Poland. Aren't you getting bored with this war yet? I would think so. Alright, let's find some cities. There. Three cities in one go. Not bad. Let's have a look. Well, that guy is still sitting inside the city. That's interesting. Let's do more damage then. That plus one range is so useful right now. Would be nice to get an actual frigate, but it's okay. So, do we go all in or not? I kind of want to. Because really, this is the only way it's going to happen if we go all in. It kind of sucks, because with that melee unit inside the city, I will almost definitely lose a cannon. Maybe even both cannons. But this is really the only way it's going to happen. If I don't go all in, we will not take the city. Period. I think we'll have to do it. Cargo ship. Okay, do we want to send the trade route from here? We probably got better ones. Let's see, best shade route that uses a cargo ship. Florence to Constantinople. Alright, that works. And this should be a road. We finished the trading post, nice. And another trade route. There, 122 gold. I could just buy some units. But as I mentioned before, I want to bribe some city-states once this war is over. Poland is allied with too many city-states, I need to get some of them at least. I'm also looking for more city-states, that's why I got the caravel in the first place. Okay, now he moved out of the city, that's good. So we have to kill that guy. I'm not sure if we can. We should be able to. Well, I don't know. I don't think we can do it. Nope, he didn't die, damn it. Okay, that sucks. I can still do it if I want to. Yeah, there, he's dead. That works. What do you think you're doing? Oh great, my trade routes will get pillaged like this. Right, well, let's just wait one more turn then. We'll wait one more turn. And we can still do some damage to the city. Not a whole lot of damage, but it's better than nothing. And that's that. Plus one population and city-state. Yes, continue removing the marsh. Alright, next. We are down to one happiness, which isn't too good. And I can't buy any luxuries. See, that's one of the other reasons why I want Vilnius. It's a mercantile city-state. That's the number one city that I want from Poland. It's close to our borders. It's mercantile. And America declared war on Poland. Okay, this is going to help. Even though America is nowhere close. But it should help. It should give us a decent deal at least. Right, I want this trade route, so off you go. We're down to nine, that's okay. Oh, America actually has some units over here. Okay, good. Yeah, look at all these mercenaries that Poland is hiring. It's actually a little bit crazy. I don't like it. I was hoping they won't spam mercenaries with all their gold. That's actually a bit of a problem, because, you know, Data AI generally has almost unlimited amounts of gold in many cases. Look at the Mongols. They are making 233 gold per turn. That's not even that much. I had AIs with 50,000 gold in my games before and over a thousand gold per turn. Because, you know, that's data for you. Alright, I should really kill that guy, but I want to do damage to the city, otherwise we will simply not take it in a reasonable time frame. We just won't. So screw that guy and let's focus on the city. And I'll probably have to move in with the cannons. 
It's just not going to happen otherwise. We have to move in with the cannons. Four turns left on the camel archers. I wouldn't mind just throwing these guys away. Yeah, camel archers are nice, but I can't rely purely on mercenaries only. I think we're going to do it. I'm really tempted to do it. It seems risky because he might just attack my cannons instead. But these cannons are not useful if they are going to stay in the bag forever. Let's just move in. Yeah, the cannons won't be useful if I just keep them in the bag forever. Alright, let's move in with everything we got. We will almost definitely lose a few units, but that's okay. I pretty much assume that we will lose units. There. This should be pretty good firepower. Yep, should be pretty good. And I can upgrade the Karak, I suppose. Yep, I can do some decent damage with the Galleons. Alright, let's see how this goes. My plan is to take Woj and then maybe get peace treaty with Poland. Wait, what? What happened there? Carthage denounced us. Did they denounce us now? Yeah, we will lose units. And this is a lot of mercenaries. Yeah, I don't think we're going to take that city. I'll just have to peace out. And probably just go for the spaceship or something. Yeah, we can't take this city. I don't think so. This is too many dodds. Way too many dodds. It's just not going to happen. Even if I focus on the city right now, which I can do. But if I do that, I will lose multiple units on the next turn. Clearly, I will lose most of these units if I ignore the defenses. I think we just have to peace out. They are willing to negotiate now because America declared war on them. Sovereignty. And then scientific revolution. I think so. Yep. 132 gold. My economy is strong enough to start buying units. But even if I start buying units, that's not going to be that helpful. Hmm. I need to think about this. Yeah, we lost the camel archer. I'm not going to extend the contract on the camel archers. I'd rather just buy my own units, you know, and level them up. Question is, what to do here? I don't think we can take the city. We don't have enough damage here. If I had more cannons, then maybe, maybe. But that's a pretty big maybe. Anyway, I'm going to decide in the next episode. So thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you next time.